are going to be looking at active range of motion at the knee. For flexion, we are going to ask our patient to slide their heel along the table as close as they can to their butt. So keep your heel in contact and slide that all the way up. Good. Um, let's see the other leg. So we'll go back to the starting position. Now we're going to look at extension. So for extension, you're going to ask your patient to lift their heel up off the table while maintaining contact with their thigh. So go ahead. And look at the other leg. Uh, the last range of motion is internal and external rotation. So for this one, we're going to ask our patient to sit up and up to the end of the table with their hanging off. Good. Um, the patient is going to position themselves in a neutral ankle position just to help limit the amount of eversion and inversion that can happen. It's going to just give us a better look of are they actually moving at the knee. So keeping that position, I'm just going to ask you to turn your foot out. Good. And in. Very good. Again. And one more. Other side. So you're just looking for motion. You're not measuring anything. You just want to make sure they have the ability to turn. It looks, uh, so all our ranges of motion uh, looked complete, nothing was missing, so we're going to move on to passive. Uh, so we're now going to look at passive range of motion at the knee. Um, it's going to be look exactly the same as it was for flexion and extension, so I'm just going to slide along and try and push their tibia and femur close while keeping the heel down. So for extension. We're going to support the heel and the thigh, and the end field is bony. For internal and external rotation, you're going to have the patient flex at 90 degrees at the hip and the knee. You're going to maintain the uh, neutral ankle position, supporting the bottom of the foot, the other hand at the top of the thigh, and you're just going to immediately rotate, laterally rotate. Good. So, and that is also a tissue stretch and feel. For resisted range of motion, we're just going to look at flexion and extension. We're not going to do any of the rotations. So you're going to bend both the patient's knees and you're going to lift one uh, leg, coming underneath it, putting your hand on top of the knee. And you're just going to, for testing uh, extension, you're going to be trying to push them into flexion. So don't let me move you. 